Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in the world. This is Tim Collins, the Secretary General of the World Stainless Association. Uh, and today we have the pleasure of presenting our uh, industry awards for the year 2022. But uh, just before we launch into that, uh, just a quick announcement for people that haven't yet heard. The association, as from the 16th of May, has rebranded itself as World Stainless. So we are no longer the International Stainless Steel Forum. And a press release will actually go out later today. Uh, and there's many reasons for that, but we don't have time to go into at the moment. But if anybody has any questions, uh, then uh, please contact me in due course. So to now run through the award ceremony, I will close my camera down because we do have a presentation to share and you'll be able to see the presentation. So uh, thank you for joining. Welcome everybody. And I hope you find what's come up in the next 30 minutes uh, interesting and enlightening. So we will start today's session, just a reminder that we are bound by antitrust legislation. And I don't think we need to worry for this particular presentation because we won't be talking about any of the issues we must avoid as such. But it is just a reminder, I'm not going to read the whole slide out uh, because I think most people who are online are familiar with this, but this is our formal reminder that we are bound by this legislation. So today we have five sections to the presentation, the market development awards followed by the technology awards, then safety, sustainability awards, and then we just uh, give a, a thank you at the end to everybody who was involved in uh, delivering their CO2 emissions data, uh, and they will all re receive a certificate from World Stainless, uh, thanking them for their participation in that program as well. So I'd now like to move forward with market development. And in this area, we as a jury of a panel looking at uh, the submissions are looking for highly original concepts that promote either bespoke stainless grades, have a significant global market potential, or offer um, strong environmental improvements. So that's the sort of focus when we're judging the submissions. I'd now like to just show, and I'm not going to describe all of these in general. These were the submissions we received this year, quite a varied selection of different market development opportunities. And I will now run through the winners in reverse order. So we'll start with the Bronze Award. And this year we give our Bronze Award to North American Stainless for their stainless steel vehicle defense barrier entry system. And we considered this important because it's part of our wider street furniture program, promotion of street furniture. And stainless steel, as applied in this example for bollards, uh, provides great defense, not just for the general public, but also for vehicles and avoiding significant damage to vehicles and the attributes of stainless steel that are not only sort of high strength and may essentially maintenance free offered a great opportunity for this market development and we thought this was a very interesting award and had wide usage potential across the world so it's a pleasure to give this year our bronze award in market development to the North American Stainless team. Congratulations to you all. We now move forward in this category to our Silver Award. And this is given to Nippon Steel Stainless Steel Corporation for their, their liquefied hydrogen carrier, and I hope I pronounced this correctly, the Suiso Frontier. And this is a very interesting development in the large scale transport of hydrogen via shipping vessels. And uh, def definitely the notion of liquefied hydrogen 
becomes very interesting for large volume transport. And this, in order, well, in order to tr transport liquid hydrogen, austenitic stainless steel is an absolute must. So we found this a very good step forward on this sort of scale. And I think you, unanimously, the assessment team thought this was worthy of our silver award. So it's an absolute pleasure to award this to Nippon Steel Stainless Steel Corporation. Congratulations to the whole team there. Moving forward now to our gold award in this category. And this is given to a Selinox uh, in Spain. And the notion of vertical farming we found was very interesting. It fits well when you consider a number of features, notably using space in a very effective way. This vertical tower for agricultural growth will overcome many food shortage issues. But also when you think about the notion of mass urbanization, we can see that this has an interesting potential by avoiding the need to transport food products long distances. So from a space usage perspective, from a food provision perspective, from an environmental perspective, we thought this was really impressive and can be utilized all over the world with diff, you know, where different uh, weather conditions exist without any detriment. So we felt this was a fantastic opportunity and our sincere congratulations go to Serenox for the notion of vertical farming and this is our gold award in this category. I'd now like to move forward to the technology awards. Now here we are looking for very original concepts that make significant contributions in either the production methods for stainless steels or for what we would describe as the application efficiency of stainless steels in service. And that covers both existing applications and new applications. But when we think about application efficiency, it's not just features like light weighting, for example, it's also the notion of does this material offer what I would describe as the fit and forget solution. So there's no worry after installation of the, uh, the product for, for example. So in this area, we had less submissions, but these were very interesting submissions. So technologically, very, very uh, well received. And it's a pity, you know, we had to choose three from, from this because they were all of a high, high standard. But if I go first to our bronze award in the technology category, this is given to a crony seal for their development of the heat treatment and surface treatment of duplex and super duplex stainless steels. And we found this impressive for a number of reasons. Duplex stainless steels are a growth area in the stainless steel family. And they have many opportunities for their application, whether it be in marine environments, uh, legacy oil and gas systems, electrical environments, and even construction. And we felt that this was a significant advancement that would assist the promotion of duplex stainless steels. And because it was a focus on the stability of the, the prod steel, duplex stainless steels to be better understood by material specifiers and fabricators. So it's an absolute pleasure to give the Acrony team a bronze award in the technology category. We now move on to the Silver Award, and this is given to Taiwan Iron and Steel Company Limited, or Corporation, I think I should say. And this is a very interesting development, the notion of a hand tearable steel, rather like aluminium foil. And this offers a tremendous potential for the development of wide ultra thin stainless steel precision strip and we felt this was worthy of this award because it offers so many new opportunities whether that be in things like radiation protection clothing aerospace and military environments but even things like 
mobile phones, things that we're used to using in everyday life. And it can also be rolled out into uh, battery storage, uh, electrodes, etc. So a really wide range of opportunities for this development at the thin end of the stainless steel spectrum. And we felt that this was absolutely deserving of our silver award and it's uh, sincere congratulations to the whole Taiwan team for this submission. We now move on to our gold award. And in this category, we award our gold award to the POSCO team for their high performance peritic stainless steel for large scale washing machines and drying machines. And again, this was an impressive award uh, because it delivers a number of efficient applications um, and also brings a cost stability uh, of the material in use in these applications. So we found that this is a great example of where technology is used to solve a product related issue that actually came from the customer themselves and the new steel grade satisfies all the needs and provides that cooperation and i think that strength of cooperation between industry members and consumers is really important so we're delighted to offer our gold technology award this year to POSCO. Congratulations to the whole team. I'd now like to move on to our safety awards. And in this category, we're looking for practical innovations that reduce the number of safety incidents in the workplace and or develop what I would describe as transferable countermeasures to avoid specific injury types. And that can through, be through the development of controls, so on-site controls, workers' skills and cultural mindsets. And it's important that we note all of those things in the in the safety award program. Let me believe this is the next we will move forward and look at the submissions. Again, I'm not going to describe them. People can read through them, but a good range of submissions in the safety category. And it's quite difficult when you consider that over the last two years, people have been wrestling with COVID. So um, a lot of previous efforts have been focused on COVID related issues. So now to come up with a completely new set of interesting and compelling submissions has been a tough ask for people. So let's just consider now our bronze award and we're delighted to award the bronze award in this category to Taiwan Iron and Steel. And this is an improvement of personnel behavior by what uh, termed quaternity. And this is about recording the individual employees' activities. And what's very interesting about this is you can actually see the differences between employees and you can actually consider both really good performances and the small number of less good performances side by side so it gives a real opportunity to develop standards rules operating regulations based on assessing all types of uh, personnel behavior and that's a really wide ranging opportunity so we felt this was absolutely um, it, um absolutely uh, valid to receive our, our bronze award this year so congratulations to the whole taiwan team but also we felt there was another award worthy of the bronze uh, award this time around and that's the serenox um so we have two bronze awards in the safety category and this issue the implementation of an automatic extraction system of lubrication grease from the damping system of the AOD, the steel making converter, uh, has, is a troublesome issue across many, many plants. And this was a very impressive submission, a uh, completely different concept, but here it took away a lot of issues like people risks, um, avoiding mechanical movement, speeding up the extraction time of lubrication and there's no doubt this can not only be transferred into other 
units of similar type around the world, but other systems of similar type. So we felt this was a, a very focused, but absolutely perfect example of avoiding manual intervention in a difficult area. So congratulations to the Selenox team for this submission. It's a pleasure to uh, grant the award. So now brings this, in this category, the safety category, to our silver award. And this is uh, granted again to Taiwan Iron and Steel for the improvement to the intrinsic, the intrinsic safety level and management standard in the coal gas area. And this was interesting from our perspective because we know that uh, gassing and asphyxiation across our wider industry is still a high risk feature. And this was great because what we felt was that there were sufficient um, issues addressed. So the transformation of unmanned um, and less populated gas risk areas, the application of leak proof gas drainers brought in was really important. And the sort of intelligent way this was addressed, we felt was beneficial to the whole industry. So again, it's with pleasure that we offer our congratulations to Taiwan Iron and Steel. And now we come to the gold award in safety, and this is awarded to Aparam for their just culture concept. And what impressed us about this, and I've touched on this moment, this issue uh, a moment ago, was it was looking at changing the culture through assessment predominantly of positive aspects of work and behavior and when you look at how accidents come about accidents come about and they're relatively few in our industry primarily because of human features but also when that's you look at that spectrum of human features there are many more positive features probably uh, 20 times more and yet we only focus on the things that go wrong by and large so the notion of changing the culture and using the positive aspects more favorably is a real step forward in changing the culture and changing the way people operate at work changing mindsets and this was really important because I think this is the next level I certainly believe this is the next level change in safety performance to get us to a, as an industry to what you would define as a world-class standard. So it was absolute pleasure that we awarded this gold standard award in the safety category to Aparam. Congratulations to the whole team. Now we move forward to our sustainability category. And we have a number of submissions here. You can, again, read them out, quite a good range of submissions. We were looking here for new developments that delivered one or more of the following things. A clear reduction in operational emissions, a clear reduction in energy, production energy intensity, an improvement in material application efficiency. So does the material not require intervention? Can it be lightweighted, etc.? An investment in new processes and or products that have a positive environmental impact and also the development or enhancement of company environmental management systems. So a lot of features to be considered in sustainability. Now, if I move forward to our bronze award, this year, this is award to Nippon Steel, Stainless Steel Corporation for their rehabilitation of a hydroelectric power plant. I'm not going to try and pronounce the power plant name, um, and this involved the use of, of stainless steel. And we know that uh, hydroelectric power plants are very useful in the drive towards greener energies, but also starting to involve more stainless steel components brings this fit and forget concept. So we're covering the number of features in the sustainability arena here with this submission at the same time. And it's sincere congratulations to Nippon Steel Stainless Steel Corporation for winning the bronze award in this category. 
Moving forward now to our silver award. This is given to a Serenox, uh, and this uh, piece of work is focused on their Campo de Gibraltar factory and the notion of reducing energy consumption in non-productive periods. And this is another great example of wider thinking. We have a lot of focus in our industry in terms of reduce, improving our efficiency during productive periods. But the notion of shutting things down in simple terms during non-productive periods often gets overlooked. And this was a very detailed study by the Serenox team to deliver both energy savings and emission savings of significant magnitude. And the simple feature here is this is easily copied all over our industry. So we felt this was easy to understand, sensible as a very sensible thing to do with significant benefits and it's a question of why would everybody not do this so it's with absolute pleasure that we give this silver sustainability award to the Acerinox team congratulations and then finally we come in sustainability to our gold award and this is given to Taiwan Iron and Steel for their ecological dual circulation management of the Tisco water system and there is no doubt that water is a scarce resource on our planet and with everything that we are experiencing now in terms of climate change and uh, catastrophic type events uh, looking after our water supplies but also in the wider context the sort of uh, urban wetlands around uh, our sort of uh, industry and our cities is really important so we felt this particular uh, award was absolutely worthy um, it was interesting to see such a big scale water treatment system being involved and what is also important to consider is the sort of dual benefits of both improved water quality and reduced water consumption so a double win on this and because it's big scale this we felt was a very interesting and compelling project and we're delighted to offer our gold award to the Taiwan Iron and Steel team congratulations so now that is the sort of brief through our award ceremony so we come to the end of this presentation and just a, a moment to touch on our CO2 emissions certificates and every year we award ceremony so we come to the survey across our members and we always get good participation from from members in this and we're very grateful because the industry has uh, some good uh, records here some improving records and uh, it's important that we continue this work to promote our material as a sustainable material so here are the list of companies that contributed in the last 12 months. I'm not going to go through them all one by one. I'm sure everybody can read. We appreciate their involvement, their contribution, and it would not be possible to provide the insights about the emissions associated with our industry without this group of people and the teams behind these groups supporting the work we do. So thank you all for your participation, everybody, uh, who's been involved will get uh, a certificate. So that neatly brings us to the end of this award ceremony. I hope everybody found it interesting and the cases we briefly presented uh, compelling and worthy of the awards for this year. And it's been a pleasure to be part of the panel. Uh, and on behalf of the whole assessment panel, here, I'd like to sort of thank everybody for their submissions and their continued interest in this program so at that point i'd like to bring the session to a close thank you very much for attending and as i said if you have any questions please uh, send them on thank you and goodbye <laughs>